Hey everyone, this is VJOS832 and this is Card Class. What is Card Class, you may ask? Well, basically, if you've seen deck duels from other people, it's basically the same thing. Although I haven't particularly watched any deck duels myself, but I figured I'd give it a shot. Today's Card Class, or deck duel, is the Professional Bicycle Skull and Bones Mac versus a Carnival Deathheads Carnage Edition. Yeah, let's look at them. Round one. The box. Let's see who's gonna go with your list best. On the one hand, we got the Professional Bicycles, which is fairly standard. Of a box, looks like a regular bicycle. All over, on the top. And on the sides. Everything is fairly standard. Uh, you get to see the back design, which is exactly what the cards look like. And you do get a reveal on the bottom. Actually, it's a, which is a phone number. It's two reveals in one, actually. It says your card is the Ace of Spades or Free of Hearts. A black card for the black deck, a red card for the red deck. And you also get this 1-900 phone number that you can phone. For a few dollars for a phone call, you get a reveal as well. On the other hand, you get the Carnival Death Heads, which has a fairly custom box. Bicycle Carnival Death Heads on the front with the skull and bones. Everything else is, you know, fairly standard. With some artwork here and there. You do also get a reveal on the barcode, which says Eight of Diamonds. I don't know if you can see that, sort of, and then of course the back you get an image of the back of the cards. Unfortunately, this is not exactly what the back design of the cards are if you've seen my review. And it's a tough one, they both got reveals, and they're both kind of fairly standard. The Carnival Death Heads is a little bit misleading, so I'll have to give round one to Professional Bicycles. Skull and Bones. Just because they show you the actual back design while this one is slightly misleading. And they both got reveals that they're both fairly standard. Oh, this one's custom to some extent. <laughs> Round two. The cards. Both, I believe, have air crossing finishes with Standard bicycle stock, and both are fairly standard. Back designs are similar. This one was printed before this one, although this one originally the design came on the Carnival Death Heads Armor Edition before this one, so. I don't know who copied who, but it's basically the same thing. These ones are standard through and through. Standard Ace of Spades, standard Zokers. The only interesting thing is that while it's a bicycle deck, they basically have Arco faces, which I do like Arco faces. So thumbs up for that. This one here. Everything is 100% standard, standard cord cards. Jokers are custom, although they're the same as in the original Death Heads deck. And the Ace of Spades is custom, and it's pretty nice looking. But it's about the only good thing about this deck. <laughs> Overall, I think for the deck, I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> They're both fairly similar. This one's got a possibly slightly nicer skull and bone scene. But this one is actually not bad. I like that this one actually matches the box. Well, this one does not exactly match the box. And the box is red. I expect the red cards it ain't red. 
would have been nice though. Overall though, I think the skull and bones are slightly better because while they're fairly standard, that is exactly what I expected because it says bicycle on there and it looks like a standard box so I expected a fairly standard deck and to my surprise they actually have arco faces instead of bicycle faces and another thing you might notice is the indices are also custom slightly because one corner one side of the card it's bolded the other side it's not as you can see I'll turn it around now they're both bolded turn it around it ain't bolded no more turn this one around you know what I mean so it's kind of a, almost a one-way face but overall I think this one's slightly better because it is what I expected except that it has arco faces it's fairly standard by looking at the box that's what you would expect the carnival death heads being that it's a carnival deck and it's got such a nice fancy box I would have expected some customization especially considering they didn't do anything with the first edition you think they would have improved the second edition but they didn't overall the skull and bones back is better than this one they're both fairly standard not saying I'm a fan of that I'm really a fan of evil one but for this card class my first ever it's a total knockout by these Skull and Bones decks. Hopefully you liked that video. Let me know what you think. Comment, rate, subscribe. If you have any suggestions for deck duels, <laughs> let me know in the comment section below. And stay tuned next week for another one. Another exciting battle. Another round head to head card class and maybe next week we'll go three rounds it won't be a total knockout <laughs> anyway that's what I think let me know what you think and I'll see you next time